Hey class, we are going to talk about the U engineer defined functions. So what we can see from previous video, we, we saw the predefined functions, we see we saw how it's going it's being called. Um for example, y equals to power three point zero to the power two. Um so what's the pattern there? The pattern is that when we call the function we have the function name, POW, we have the value separated by commas, and then it returns a value. But um, it's not always like that, but a lot of them are like that. So let's see how we can define our own functions. I just thought, you know, seeing how it works is actually so much easier than um, um, explaining it, it in words. Um, so uh, let us see how the f the how how we run this um, program first. So when you when we run this program, it will say, "Hey, input two numbers. You want to add separate by space." Don't worry about this part. This part is actually I I'm using a script to run this program, and that is just um, it's it's outside of the program that we are running here. So. The, the program starts from under this, this line and for all the demos it probably will stay this way. So in to put two numbers you want to add separated by space uh, so let's say 3 or 4 and 4 so they add up to 7 and do here. If we look at the main the body of the the program um, first line input two numbers separated by space and then we read the x and y as the first two input and then and then we add them up but when we add it up we actually call a function and so how 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 that how does that so how how does that work um first of all we need a function decoration in big before the main function so it just basically tell the main function hey uh, we are declaring that there will be a function and so just beware and then we would put the definition actually after the main uh, after the main like so um, so the declaration will say hey I expect that I would have two numbers a and b and both of them are integers um, and then I will return a, an integer um, and then um, in the definition, it will talk about the details about how this function is implemented. So basically, this is very simple. We just add a to b and then we turn it. That's it. So um, pretty straightforward. Um, so if we make it more generic, um, how does a function decoration, which is above the, the main function, main function that's where we put the decoration there so, um, in the example I repeated here so return type first of all we tell we tell um, the program okay we are going to return an in expect an in integer uh, function name so we use sum as the function name um, that I invented basically, right? So as a programmer, you invent the name for the variables, you invent the name for the functions that you're writing. And then the parameter list is the list of um, the, the type of the variable, the type of the parameter, and the name of it. So you can, uh, it's basically like a variable name, but you, it, you know, here we use A and B, but sometimes it's, it's um, helpful to use some more meaningful names so that you remember what that um, particular parameter is for. And remember the semicolon afterwards. So this goes above the main function. Then we have the definition which tells basically what the function does. Um, as like the pre the example that we shown we have the same basically the top is the same but we use a curly bracelet and then um when we have a return type of in it's expected that we have a return uh statement 
and then an integer. We will return that integer. And basically, you imagine this go to this uh, function call. So how do we call it? Um, because um, this guy will return a integer, and so we use x to hold it. Um, you can see that the generic the so basically this is a pseudo code. Um, I use a bracket here because you don't always have to assign it to a value because there are sometimes functions that doesn't have doesn't return a value for example um, this function is a void function so it doesn't return anything so that's you you don't see any return statement um, because what it does is just print out a, a bunch of stuff to the screen um, Print greetings is the name that I chose for it, and I uh, will. I want to have a uh, parameter uh, that tell me what hour that is at. Like for example, if it is um, hour eleven, like you know eleven forty five, for example, then it will come in and it will uh, check eleven is between. So um, is bigger than zero but smaller than 12 and so this statement will print out good morning um, and so on and so forth so if it's the afternoon before six o'clock um, then it will say good afternoon and and then everything else is at night so it will say good evening and so just to remind you void void is the return type which means there's nothing to return so what I've the valid return types you can um, have numbers like integers double floats and long you know those that we listed before character types uh, we've used uh, boolean type and then we just talk about void so for it's just for now because later on we would talk um it, there will be more data type um you will see um but for now this is enough for you to play with what is a function it's just basically a small program in itself if you look at the int uh, the 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 main function that we've been using from the start of the beginning of the 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 class um, it's also itself is a function it returns zero and that's why I feel very uncomfortable if we don't return zero because I think right now compiler is smaller smarter a lot of people want to skip this so they they were able to manage it even though in is the data type but I always feel like um, to just put it there because it just feels more correct when I do it um, is self-contained and that's why um, it's good to debug your functions um, on its own make sure that it works and then and then put it in your big program to use it so how many return statements each function will have it depends um, there are for example, this case that more than one return statement makes sense because why? Um, in a Boolean function, sometimes it will have to return true, sometimes it will have to return false. So let's say if we want to check if a number is positive, we um, write a function called is positive, and then we input uh, the number as the the parameter. Um, so uh, if that number we checked is a uh, bigger than or equal to zero. It's like uh, when we were doing the the module to um, lab assignment, then it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. So what we covered in this video, um, declaration, declaration, definition, and calling of a function. And then we talk about return types and uh, statements, return statements. So next we are going to talk about overloading function names.